Hi guys, it's Jeanette Luda. So this is a junk journal, kind of a pretty stuffed junk journal that I made f just for funsies. Um, I had a previous journal that I made a while ago that um, I really liked. It's, and I enjoyed making it and I kind of wanted to make something in the same vein as that. And I happened to have leftover paper from a project that I did previously. Um, that had already, you know, been printed out and everything, and um, I just thought, well, that paper is absolutely perfect for this. So, and since I've already got a number of it printed out, I don't have to print out, you know, a whole lot of stuff. And so, and it's just really, really, really pretty. And I've got some nieces and uh, daughters of friends. They all just absolutely love pink and girly, frilly, you know. So. I look forward to see to giving this to one of them or somebody else. I tend to give away everything. Um, so, anyways, the paper is from SS Digital Studio and it's called Love in Paris. Really pretty, nice. I um, pink is not my favorite color. I'm a my favorite colors are autumn. <laughs> Anything in the fall range, so you know, dark browns and oranges and greens so pink is a little little bright but I the images the, the the choice of the pink that's primary in these papers I really like this real nice soft it's just it does pull to the the little girl and the you know the frilly wanting to have pretty things inside of it so yeah, I really enjoyed making this and I, I love how it turned out. The cover is chipboard and I put it together, bound it, if you will, with uh, book tape. So I get book tape. And if you wanna know, this is Filmoplast T. T is in Tom. And that's what I use to put my books together. I like it because it allows you to have a really good opening um, and you don't have to ever worry about it falling apart. So I like that. And I chose one of the background papers. So in, in the kit, there's of course journal pages um, and then there's also some nice background papers. So that's the front, the spine and the back. And then just added a little metal label and some pretty corners. And of course, this is from the fuzzy cut pages. Excuse me. <coughs> so, going inside. Chose another one of the background papers. So I I like the idea of making this. It's not really necessarily Valentine's, even though we, we are in that season. But, you know, it can be love. It can be I love Paris. It can be <laughs> I love you. So I really like it. So anyways, the, the front and the back is this really pretty little hearts paper. All right, so getting going. This is a little pocket. Now what I do, so if you if I pull this up, you might be able to see that. Um, if I had just had this and maybe glued it on all four sides, I don't like that. Eventually the fabric, depending on which fabric you use, can stretch a bit and things will just fall out of the pocket. So what I do is I kind of camouflage by putting in vellum. So this is, um, I don't have at the moment really good thick vellum. So I have kind of floppy vellum, so here's a piece, so it's a little floppy. So what I do is I took two pieces and I run it through my Xyron and then I get a much stronger piece of vellum. And you can't, that's why I love using the Xyron because it puts adhesive um, edge to edge and then this is much stronger and then I can work with this and so that's what's underneath here is just two pieces of vellum and then I just glued it in and then that way I have a nice pocket right but it's a lot stronger than if it was just the fabric and you don't see it so and let's see I think in the kit there's um, a couple of pages that have really nice big you could use them as journal cards, but you could also use, um, if you cut it out without taking them apart and folded it, it could still be some journal pages. Then you 
books. So I took one of those. And this is <laughs> this is the cardstock that I added. Well, it's not really cardstock. It's it's probably in between, you know, uh, the paper that I use for my journal pages and cardstock. So it's still nice and floppy. It gives. It's not going to add a whole lot of bulk. And so that's I use that for some pages, but also to back a lot of the journal cards. I, I like to give them a little more oomph, you know, so that they can survive coming in and out of the pockets. And whatever you, if you want to put a picture on there, they're not so floppy. I like to do that. Uh, throughout, I found, I have this really great, a whole bunch of different styles of this. It's almost, it's like a tissue paper, but, and a handmade paper. So you can see it's got that handmade paper look, but it's almost the, um, feels like tissue, like you would wrap a present. Really like it. And I have got a bunch with a whole bunch of different patterns on it. Throughout, I added some notebook pages. This one happened to be from a diary that I took apart. And this is just some, I think, I don't know if that's print, yeah, printer paper, I think. And here's that paper. Also some grid paper. There's also dot paper in here. And here, so this is another calendar. This is a much older calendar um, that I've taken apart. I've used quite a bit of pages from that throughout um, this book for a lot of different projects. And then this is from the ephemera. I just have a little tag again backed on to that pink paper and I can tuck up in there. And we got a lot of uh, music paper. thought it went real nice with the theme. But I, um, some people, you know, what do I do with paper that, you know, obviously it's going to be, if I write on this, for instance, it's going to be hard to write. Also, if I put a paper, or sorry, a picture on this, the paper is a little floppy. I mean, you can almost see it, you know, at the edge here. It's a little bit floppy. So what I like to do with this is I leave um, either one side, you know, or the folded piece the other side blank so that you can put pictures on there and not feel like you're covering anything up. But on the other side, I like to put something that gives it stability. And then that way, if you do want to put pictures on this side, you can do that and it won't flop all over the place. But then you also have the room on the other side for journaling, whatever. And sorry, I had to, uh, I kind of had to blow out my exposure in order to, for my camera to not flicker. So it kind of makes my hands look a little diseased. <laughs> Pretty much most, if not all, I mean, no, not all, but most of the pages that come from the kit, I did nothing to. They're so pretty and I couldn't, couldn't, you know, cover anything up. So especially all the middle of the signature pages are left as they are because they're just so pretty. But of course you have room there for pictures. This is one of the journal cards, just turned into a little belly band. And this is from the ephemera. And then what, this is a rub-on that I had in my stash. So nice big journal card. And here, if I just put the belly band on here, again, this is thinner paper. And so it would have been really floppy. And if I, you know, to have that in there, it might eventually rip the page. So what I did here was put a piece of vellum behind it. It allows you to see all of the pretty music on the page, but it gives the paper more stability for something like a belly band. Oop. There we go. And again, like I said, I keep one side usually blank and the other side make sure that it's nice and big enough to get the whole page stability. One of the pretty journal pages. That's, or sorry, grid, that's grid paper, hello. And this is another rub-on from my stash. I have this one, there's a darker pink. I thought they went real well with the paper. Just adds a little something to all the blank paper. There's the other side of the tissue. And that's the end of the first signature. Second signature um, on this one. So I took one, of, this is one of the tags and then folded over the top and then 
few little pieces of paper for like a little mini notebook and stitched across to hold that together. Now this paper is much newer and the book itself was um, had much thicker paper. So I didn't, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about because it's not floppy at all, even with this heavy piece on here. So. Uh, so this is actually funny from a pad of when we went to a hotel in Sweden. The place had pads of paper in the rooms, and I ran around, and other people who were part of our group took all of the paper notebooks because it's really pretty and has this little subtle little pink swirl to it. So, of course, the other side had the name of the hotel and everything, so that I cut off, but I love this little paper. And so here we have another journal card and just, um, rounded the one corner, just make it into a cute little pocket. And then this was, you know, for making certain things for the book, I always end up with pieces and parts. And so this was one of those pieces and parts, and I just cut it into a little uh, flag. Is that a flag? Banner. Banner. Oop. This is, once you see, oh, if I could just get there, the other side, this, so that's a ledger paper. And here's the other set of rub-ons with the darker flowers. And we have another tissue. Tissue handmade paper. I'm not sure what you would specifically call this with little gold hearts and then here a piece of vellum it's been stitched top and bottom and then one of the uh, images from the fussy cut page and so it's another so to make this journal card I don't know if you can see that too well because it's kind of blown out a bit but there's a piece of vellum over it and then stitched on it's, I like writing on vellum just because it ha gives it a, a different look than just writing on the paper. My allergies, I apologize. And one of the little journal cards in the kit. And then this is uh, some paper from an old sketchbook. And just folded it up to make a little pocket and some washi tape to stabilize the top of the pocket. For one of the journal cards. Pretty paper. And then the other side, this came from a folio that I got at sort of, kind of our version of the dollar store here in Germany, but quite as is like a high end dollar. I don't know what you would call it. It's called Teddy, in case you're ever in Germany. They have some really nice craft stuff for really cheap prices. And there was they had these little folios with these pads of paper, and I thought that's really cute. So that one there, there's another one somewhere else in the book. And then here is another little guide. So this is held on with the paper clip, and then that pulls out, and it's just a little strip and this is one of the tickets from the ephemera so you can write a little strip and then this is one of the tags and I just backed it with the pink paper folded it over and then you've got a little it's like a little notebook with the gray paper and then I thought I could have just used the paper clip but I like having that holding that down and the paper clip just goes in to hold it all in place Papers, papers, and then we have one of the, oops, one of the fussy cut pieces acting as a little pocket, or tuck, rather. And then on this side, again, um, since this side is nice and open, then I want this side to be somewhere where I can write and do things, so this is just a piece of notebook paper, and then stitched in. That's the next signature, and so one of the fussy cut pieces made into a little tuck spot for a little journal card that's from, this is one of the fussy cut, and just some washi tape. And we have a 
another pocket made from one of the journal cards. A little bit trim for pretties. And then another of the journal cards. And then this is from an old book here in Germany. They're called the Blue Books. And so this is one of the pages out of one of my Blue Books. Kind of like Reader's Digest, sort of. Paper. And this is just another rub on. And this is paper from a uh, letter writing kit. You know, envelopes and the paper for the letters. A little piece of glue there. And then this little strip is in the fussy cut. Or sorry, yeah, the ephemera kit. And I hope you can see that. Like I said, it kind of washes out a bit. There's a little bit of um, embroidery something there. I think it was a what it was was a big tablecloth, <laughs> and I've cut out all the little pieces from the tablecloth. And this is another of the pink papers with some vellum on it. And then this is some staff paper, and I just added some washi tape and one of these washi tape and one of the fussy cut pieces. And then here, I, don't know, I hope you can see that, behind this journal card, I just put a big piece of vellum. Just kind of accentuates the card. And then we just have a tag tucked in there. The other side of the staff paper, and just another of the ephemera pieces. These are the pieces side of that paper. And the other side of the blue book page. And again, one side I don't do anything to. The other side added a big piece of vellum. And then another rub on and some washi tape. And then here's another piece. So this is from, I think I said that's from a little diary. And some paper. So on the other side is the journal card. has a pocket. And then another with some rub-ons. This is one of the envelopes from the kit. Oh, actually, I think one of these, maybe that one, is there's two envelopes in the kit. The one I cut up and used in a def number of different ways, like a pocket. The other one I left as is. It flips open in here. Let me scooch that inside. I've got a little journal card. Those are little rub-ons. And then, so it's wrapped over the page, but on this side, there's the flap for the envelope. I just put some trim across, and it makes a nice little tuck for another journal card. Some more staff paper. Here's yet another tissue. This one has this really pretty little hearts, white and pink hearts. Another little rub on. More tissue. That notebook paper. <laughs> and just one of the fussy cut pieces. And then here's a journal card made into a little pocket, a little trim. And it makes a nice tuck for one of the tags. Um, I think. So when I made the other project, I had an, a number of pieces, you know, that I had cut out and used everything around it, but I had a lot of extra pieces, and this is one of those. So I just put it on the paper for some writing space, and this is one of the envelopes, or sorry, the pockets from the kit, and this is just a little doily that I had in my stash, and again, some leftover of the paper just made into a little tag. The dot paper. Probably can't see the dots, but that's the dot paper. Let's see the dot signature. This is another um, from an. Uh, actually, this one's from a news. No, yeah, a newspaper. So, uh, what is it? Gart Gartenlaube. I forget the name of the magazine. 
or not the magazine, it's a newspaper, and I have a compilation book that has a bunch of the newspapers all in, and this is one of the pages from that. Just some school paper. I like to get, so if you go into the children's area, um, school area of like your uh, paper store or office store, I really like the, the school paper because you get a nice uh, assortment of different types of lines for writing. And so I like to use, get those and use them. It's a little different from your typical just plain lined paper. Another of the big pages just folded up for a pocket. And I have washi tape on one of the ephemera pieces. I actually think this might be the other envelope. And this is the part from this envelope <laughs> that, so like I said, I, I like to use all the bits. So this is the flap from that. So it's not wrapped around it. I you just have the flap on this side, a little bit of trim, a little embroider piece. And again, another, um, so this is actually um, really thin paper. So that's backed onto the pink paper. So you can see there, it's not wrapped around because the other piece is right there. And this is from the, I believe this is from the ephemera. And then we have a cute, really cute postcard. There's the middle page. And then another bit, that really thin paper with a little fussy cut piece. And this is a little glassine bag from the grocery store. Nothing fancy. <laughs> a little washi tape, one of the Fussy cut pieces, and again, another little piece of trim at the bottom. And another card. This one, I used um, the embroider, one of the embroider stitches from my sewing machine. It's hard to see. Um, and stitched across. It's actually hard to see in real life. It's the exact same color. I used the thread throughout the book, the exact same color as this pink from this paper. And so I like the tone on tone look that you get with that. Let me rip on. This paper is actually from Card Making Paper, uh, paper Card Making Paper Craft Magazine. <laughs> In the middle of those, you get paper, Some nice paper. And this is from the other. So I had two of those folios from Teddy, and this was the paper from the other folio. And that's about it. The other side of the paper, and that's the end. So, hope you enjoyed that. Definitely go, this is a time for this paper, let me tell you. Valentine's Day is coming up, and this is really beautiful paper to make. As, you, know, you can make a lot of really pretty cards out of this, um, or some presents for your favorite Valentine. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I'll try to get back to you. And otherwise, if you could like and subscribe, that would be great. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.